Hello, one and all. One and all, hello. Hello. Um, this is first of the videos for Myth One Point Myth Merch mm -hmm. One Point Nine. Stars we mean to go on. Yes. Um, the we've got the first six because the the seventh or whatnot hasn't been done yet. Um, well, I was like I've said in the videos before. Some of these could have been play tested way, way more, and are they necessary um, if you've got the patience? No, not really. Um, right, so starting off with the Keizuaza. Um This is the faction which blows stuff up. Well, to be fair, they all do that. <laughs> <coughs> Um, starting off with the, the, the corporate abilities, they're pretty much similar than they were before. Um, nuclear armor, Keizawaza decreased their movement points by one when they fail armor value, armor fairly check. Um, before that wasn't explained that well to start with, but now it says what it means. There's no argument there. Um, before your movement, your movement was decreased by two. There's is increased by one, so it's all it's all good. Um, Budo, Keizawaza increase all dice rolls by one if they have suffered any blood. So they take damage, they get a bit better. Same as they was before, really. That is nice. I, that really is a nice little touch, you know. It's like, yeah, yeah you wounded me. <laughs> nah, nah, it's easier for me to hurt you. <laughs> Uh, starting first with the leader, which is the Dynamo. Um, initiative mod 5 of 3, which is very high, but you know, I suppose there's a point. Uh, reaction of 7, courage of 3, move of 2, blood of 3, armor of 2, arm failure of 6, repair of 7. Um, it's all pretty good, um, armor failure. Is very average, but Budo kind of negates that somewhat. Uh, he's got semi auto, which is short, medium, or long range. Two attack, two d10s on one target, needing six to hit and strength of two. Can attack and move. Uh, he's also got a tactical nuke, which he has on his back, which, but he doesn't fire it, which. A. No, he just carries it, doesn't he? So some, some, somebody else presses the trigger. <laughs> um, going going on to the personal abilities, um, leadership. Um, all members of this team within one card length, including this Merc, increase their dose, dice rolls by one, which is changed slightly because it didn't used to include the leader. So include taking that into effect and the blooded then, it effect, if, if effectively all his dice rolls are reduced by two. What he needs is reduced by two, so it Yeah, need, that's what I mean, yeah. When he's when he's been damaged he need it need force to hit, yeah. Yeah. All six as if he moves. Yeah. So why not? Um lucky. Uh, this may may negate one attack success against him against himself per skirmish which means um, against one hit he ignores it once per game which is a shame they didn't leave tactician on that was very unique yeah but I'd rather have that yeah that does seem to be more useful that's a, that, that's a fair trade in, in my opinion yeah <laughs> um, now the nuke has been altered slightly well it's been altered a fair bit um, it's still within two card lengths, you take damage. Um, it's got Toxin 3 on it. This attack is, if this attack is successful, all mercs still within two card lengths of this attack suffer so one blood during the refresh phase. This effect lasts for three rounds. Now it used to be two, two turns if you're within one card length. But it's now within three card lengths. Um, it's also, from what I can tell, from what I can tell, oh no, you still take um, two, two, two health, 
Um, if you hit, you need threes to hit. Oh, sorry, the forward observer needs threes to hit. Um, if it hits, then it's a strength four hit. Um, otherwise, it's a strength three. That's changed from last time, hasn't it? Because yeah. it was strength three. Um, so you can actually damage the behemoth now. Yep. Um, and you'll probably break his armour so he's pretty much dead after he's done whatever he's doing. Yep. Um, if it's within one card length, it's a strength three hit. If it's within two card length, it's a strength one. Um, I think it used to be strength two. Um, I could be wrong on that, I probably am. Um, so, there's been a few changes with the nuke and the dynamo, but I think they're... Good changes. Yeah, yeah good changes definitely. overall. Yeah. Um, next of the trio is the Pathfinder. Now, with Merc's Recon, the bottle's going to be changed. Um, better or worse... I haven't seen the model book by going on the art. I'm, I'm not too sure myself. It looks similar. It looks similar, but he'll be standing up, not kneeling down. No. Uh, it looks weak in armour, so that, that does make sense. Um, initiative mod 5 of 2, reaction of 6, courage of 5, move 3, 3 health, 1 armour, 6 armour failure, 7 repair. That's it's pretty weak, but it's targeting with the nuke. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, there's a little bit of trade off. Um, it's got a single shot rifle thing, which is <coughs> excuse me, one d10, needing force to hit. Strength of two, which it used to be strength one before. Um, short, medium, and long range. It's got aim on it. Um, it's also got a tactical laser which is, <coughs> it can use it anywhere, effectively. You're dying of tears. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's personal abilities, I know the way. This Merc gains one movement point if he's in the bounding target, which <coughs> has changed. <coughs> I apologise for this. Um, it... I know the way it was very confusing before, but it's slightly been nerfed, but made a lot, lot clearer. So I'd rather have that myself. Uh, vital systems, when this Merc attacks, his successful attack decreases the target armour failure roll by two. Which, in this game, because of a lot of things being decreased, mm. needed here is very useful, very useful. Um, target acquisition... Um, that's kind of changed. Um, you don't have to target someone. You can target a flat area if you want. Which gives you a lot more tactical depth, I think. Um, if this Merc has line of sight to a target or area and the observer is in place, he allows the Dynamo to use the tactical nuke. So effectively, he targets his... He effectively targets somewhere and then the Ford Observer fires the nuke. That's pretty much it, really. Um, that's how I read it. Um, it used to be a case he had to have stand still and target someone with a laser. Hey, I like that. Target or area. Yeah. That's so, changed. So you could you place it on a piece of ground. Yeah. Open ground and just fire the new You don't gun. necessarily have to see the the enemy model, you could just go oh. You don't have to target an enemy model. No, you're you're oh, I think you're within a card length, oh, and, and so is he here. Oh, so strength three blast, wham. There's gonna be butt hurt for that if they're yeah. in already. Um finally for the triad of Kizawaza, um this three others. Um, we've got the Ford Observer, um, Initiative Mod 5 of 2, Reaction of 4, Courage of 7, Movement of 2, 3 Blood, 2 Armour, 6 Armour Failure and 8 Repair, which is a bit harder than it used to be if I remember correctly. Uh, we've got a Machine Pistol, which um, 2 D10s, needing 5s to hit, Strength of 1, um, Base or Short Range, but he can move and fire with it. 
Um, but it just increases his um, FN to 6. So he can still move to... Which negates its very short range. But... I still don't see why they've still got the... Can't, can't shoot right further than one card length. That seems a bit odd to me. What, for pistol? Yeah. She is a pistol. Mm, yeah. Uh, he's also got the Saturn Ninja, which allows him to fire the nuke. Um, base, short or medium range, so he still has to be within two card lengths to actually fire it. Um, needing threes, um, 1d10, as you'd expect. Um, the nuke is one use only, by the way. Um, attack and move. <laughs> <Yeah>. Launch codes. <laughs> Every single turn, letting off one of them. Um, before we go through <laughs> what the kit means, um, Forbed Observer, targets in short range of this merge lose one tier of cover. People people forget that, but it's a very useful ability. Um, if someone's in cover, that's going to really hurt them, especially weaker armoured targets, that is really going to hurt. Really, really going to hurt. A civilian, now this is the most interesting one. Civilian. Mercs targeting this figure increase their firing number by one. Um, that's going to mean if you're going through Overwatch, you're going to need sevens, eights to fire him if it's a moving target. And because he's firing the nuke, I'd imagine he's going to be priority target. Yeah. Um, attack and move. Um, you can only move one. And increases firing number by one. Okay, so the pistol you can only move one, one card length if you're going to move and fire with it. But it's still got a bit of leeway. Um, launch codes. If this merc is within two card lengths of the observer's chosen target or area, and the dynamo still has his tactical nuke, this merc may use the sat image to fire the tactical nuke. And it has got move and fire on it, which is a Big improvement, a big, a big improvement, yeah. Yeah, it does mean you haven't got to waste a turn getting into position. Um, and you need force to hit if you move. With the nuke. Unless they're in cover. <laughs> yes, but even so, moving and shooting, you need fours. Yeah. That is obscene. I mean, we're against Kenvar, and if something's in cover, a bit higher, but... Even so. Even so. Um, but the thing is, if one of them three, the Ford Observer, the Pathfinder or the Dynamo were dead, no nuke. Uh, that being said, there is still tactical options. You don't have to use the nuke if you don't want, but if you're playing Kazawaza, that's one of the main reasons you play them, really. Um, it is their trick, isn't it? Yeah, you don't... it's... It's one of their main gimmicks. It's it's kind of like a combiner for kind of combiner team for transformers. They turn into a big thing. Mm. These fire a big thing. Yeah, you wouldn't take wazers if you didn't want to take them. Them three first. I mean, they are, they are your like, like your first three, aren't they? Um, coming on to one which has had a few changes, but I really don't think it's going to get much use out of him still. I could be wrong. Um, the heavy. No. Um, reaction, initiative modifier of one, reaction of four, courage of five, move of one, health of blood of three, three armor, six for armor failure, six for repair, which for heavy is pretty good. Uh, he's got a, he's got two firing modes. He's got a semi-auto, which two shots needing sixes, uh, strength of two. Uh, short, medium and long range, um, attack and move, which, let's face it, has got one movement point, um, so it's pointless. Uh, he's also got his full auto, which is short, medium and long range, again, um, two two shots needing eights, strength of, down, strength of two, which is a bit strange, to be honest. Uh, Set and written and template, and it's the short T template, which I just it's kind of like that. Um, if you go up to some of my other videos um, for the templates, you'll see what a short template is. Um, set and rip means you just stand there for a turn, sorry, you just wait for a turn and 
you decreased your FN needed, so we'd need sevens. Uh, personal abilities, position, this mode decreases his firing number on Overwatch 6 by 1. Useful against moving targets because that's negated, but again, apart from that. Eyes behind, attacking this merc from the rear provides the flank bonus only. Um, templates just spray all around. Um, yeah. No. Not when you've got the demo and the sniper. Would you take him if his full auto weapon was strength 3? Yes. That would make a difference because... It would make all the difference. Yeah, because... Yeah, he calls in arm fairly checks. But... And that's really helpful. But you nearly re ne really need to do damage. And the Kizu has a heavy... There's probably some trick to him. Mate, they just don't know what it is yet. Still, moving on, coming on to the <coughs> demo. Um, initiative mod 5 of 0, reaction of 5, courage of 7, move of 2, blood of 3, armor of 2, damage, art, mephalia of 6, repair of 8. Uh, he's got semi-auto, like the dynamo. Um, two shots needed sixes, strength of two. Uh, attack and move. Can't shoot at base contact, so... Um, he's also got toxin grenades, which was is different to his acid grenades. Um, these work in the similar way to the nuke. Right, carry on. So, so, 1d10, he's only got three of them, which is a demo, he does. Um, base, short or medium range, so within one, two card lengths maximum. Uh, strength of one, uh, thrown two, two card lengths template, which is short, smaller than before, but... Uh, flesh wound, this merc ignores the first blood taken per, per skirmish, so ignores the first damage taken at the game, which is going to be really useful. <laughs> Yes, it is. Uh, hot potato, this merc ray relocate any grenade placed in short range to another location in short range of this merc. Which was confusing before, but has been cleared up. And I think has got a little bit of range on it now. Alright. It, it's short range rather than... It's just been cleared up and made easier to understand, I think. Um. Toxin 2 on the Toxin Grenade, if this attack is successful, which normally it would be, place a grenade token in the target area for two rounds, and miss still within one card length of this token, suffer one blood during the refresh phase. Um, before it used to be, it decreased your armour, no matter if you failed your armour check or not. That's better. That... I think that is better because no matter what your armour is, you're going to hurt somebody. Yeah. Um, before, before these were more um, prolonged, prolonged um, not damage, but prolonged... Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Um, harassment, I think the main thing is. Yeah. Uh, but now they're they are really going to put the pressure on you. On unless you've got a medic, it's really going to hurt you. It's really really going to hurt you. Um, with the new can this um, him on his own is more, more way more survivable than he used to be, especially with flesh wound. That really does make him way way better. Um, so on to the last one, the sniper. Yep. Um, Been slightly nerfed, I think. Slightly, yeah. slightly. The headshot doesn't instant kill anymore. No. Um, initiative mod fire of zero, reaction of five, courage of six, movement of three, blood of three, armor of one, arm failure of six, arm 
repair of eight a single shot which is sniper rifle um, one shot needing fours three damage a load aim punch will, which we'll get on to in a minute and he's got a pistol uh, the single excuse me the single shot is medium or long range and the pistol is strength one needing four four to hit strength one he's got aim it's either base or short range and he hasn't got move an attack which which is odd I don't know why they haven't changed that but regardless um, personal abilities back off this merc may move one movement point immediately when hit by a melee or ranged attack from melee range you can, it can help you get in a better position I suppose um, Headhunter this merc inflicts 2 blood on an unmodified roll of 10 if this attack hits and penetrates the target's armour um, it's gone down by 1 um, maybe it was overpowered I don't think so well no because you had to roll a 10 and um, Really, it didn't happen that often. Except them times when I when I did it against you. It was fun when it happened, <laughs> but and it was always when you were doing when you were filming it for a video. And yeah, uh, now th th this is what happens if he rolls a ten, ten, and and you have to pause the video like why you swore. Um, punch on the one shot weapon. The firing number of this Merc's weapon is decreased by two on targets so we cover. Um, before it, that's got nerfed a bit because he could shoot at people that I couldn't see. But it has been cleared up a lot. Um, this is one of the factions that has been cleared up, and apart from the heavy, it's pretty good as far as I can see. Um, if the heaviest weapon was strength three, yeah, I mean. Needing sixes with two shots or eights with a mm -hmm. template weapon. I can see, but... Mm. That hard to hit should be strength three. Yeah. Then you then then it'd be a... It'd be a close enough choice to make you think about it between the demo and the heavy. Yeah. Um, you'd, you'd be giving it some thought before you ultimately went for the demo, but you would be giving it some thought. Um, but... And that as it stands, I mean, all ideally, all five of them should be, you know, all six of them should be vi uh, viable choices. But yeah. as it stands, there's only five. Yeah, the Pathfinder, Dynamo, Observer, Sniper, and Demo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, You're not going to go any other. I mean, don't don't even pretend you you you, you know. Yeah. You, it's not like the other heavies where. You don't you don't take them because they're slow. You don't take you just don't take him because he's he's got nothing of worth. No, his his weapon being only strength too. That you know it's just not good enough. It either needs more or, I mean, really all the nerfs to this faction really doesn't outweigh the the upgrades. No, no I, I've got no uh, problem with it because I never took him in the first place anyway. So I'm not gonna. If I do play these again, I'm not gonna miss it because he never got used in the first no. place. You know. Um, yeah. So the faction overall. Yeah. Yes, very there's good. been a few nerfs like the sniper not having strength, uh, three damage on a ten. Yeah. Um, but most things have been cleared up and things have been made better overall. I yeah, think. yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, for a faction, they are very solid. Yes, they haven't got a sniper, but let's face it. Sorry, they haven't got a medic. They haven't got a sniper. They haven't got a medic. Um, with second edition, they are getting a. Um, what am I thinking? Um, a. Booster, which, if adrenaline's the same, is going to make them hideous to play against. But saying that, do they need a medic? Because if they had a medic, I wouldn't use it, because I've got my five yeah. there. Um, plus it would um, stop the Budo effect from working. Yeah, so it, it, 
yeah, you can have a medic, but you'd be taking one of the advantages and getting rid of it because you go a medic. Yeah, precisely. Um, the booster, is it going to make them overpowered? Um, maybe, but you are getting rid of their original five, which, let's face it, it can be hard pressed if his personal abilities and kit aren't that great. So that's pretty much it for yeah. the Kazawaza. Get on to another faction and goodbye for now. Ta ta.